Once upon a time, many years ago, there lived a fair and kindly king who, with his gentle queen, ruled a happy and peaceful kingdom. But while their subjects were happy and content, the king and queen were not, for they longed to have a child to carry on their royal lineage. How beautiful the snow is, my dear. I've not seen snow such as this since I was a little child. I used to dream that I would have a child with skin as white as snow. The winter was long, and snow covered the entire kingdom. But soon, the winter became spring. The sun brought warmth and woke the kingdom from its frozen slumber of ice and snow. With the arrival of spring, nature exploded with a blanket of multicolored blossoms. The ice melted in the lakes, and the grass stood and waited for the sun. Everything was new. There was even something new at the castle. Hear ye, hear ye, citizens of Green Valley! The little princess is born! Hooray for the little princess! May she be as gentle and lovely as her dear mother. Long live the princess! Long live the king! Long live the king. Hooray! Your Majesty, I've never seen such a child. Skin as white as snow and so beautiful. <laughs> My little one, I will put her down to sleep. You are frail and tired and you need rest from such exertions, Your Majesty. Thank you, Molly. The princess was named Snow White because her skin was as soft and white as the snow that had fallen that long winter. She grew up with love and kindness. She was the child her mother had dreamed of. But soon, the queen fell ill, and as Snow White grew from a beautiful infant into a precocious child, her mother grew weaker. <laughs> Hello, my darling. Are you back from your play so soon? Yes, Mama. I was playing pretend by the edge of the forest, and guess what? I saw some dwarves! You did? Tell me. Yes, they were so tiny and silly. I saw one, two, three, uh, what comes after three, Mama? Perhaps after Mommy rests, we'll play some counting games together. <gasps> oh, Mother isn't feeling well today. We must let her rest a while. But Daddy, I wanted to tell Mommy about the dwarves. It will only take a minute. Mother needs her sleep. You can tell Molly about them. Can we play counting games? You will do as I say. Why does Mommy have to be sick all the time? Good night, Mommy. Do not worry. The pain will pass. It will be better tomorrow. You're wrong, my dear. The pain gets worse every day. We will get a new physician, perhaps new medicines. You will get well, I promise. You must stop fooling yourself. I'm dying, my love, and there is nothing that can be done. I'll be gone soon. You must take care of our darling Snow White. But you must promise me, husband, our daughter. She will need a mother's guidance. Promise me you'll marry when I'm gone. Someone who will be kind and gentle. Someone who will be a good wife to you and a mother to our child. Please promise me, love. Oh, my dear, you mustn't leave me. You mustn't. Oh. What will I do without you? <laughs> It is nothing, my child. Come, it's late. Please, don't leave me! Autumn came, lasting but a short time. Soon, winter arrived, with its ice and snow, and chilled the kingdom to its bones. After the queen's death, the king mourned in silence and solitude. Then one day, he met a duchess from a nearby kingdom, and thereafter, brought her to his castle in a horse-drawn carriage. Hang it over there.
The new queen was very beautiful, with hair as black as night and skin as white as ivory. Everyone in the kingdom was impressed by her beauty, but they did not see the ugliness and cruelty that lurked underneath. Your Highness? Hmm. I thought perhaps you might like some tea after your journey. Tell me, was the queen as beautiful as they say? Uh-huh. Uh, don't worry, my dear. It doesn't matter anyway, you see. There is no one more beautiful than me. I'll show them. My beauty will soon make me the greatest power in all the kingdom. <laughs> This is your new queen, Snow White. She is also your new mother. Mm. What a darling little girl you are. I will think of you as my daughter, and I hope you will call me Mommy. Huh? Your father has told me you like to play pretend near the forest. May I play with you there one day? <laughs> that is not a proper response. Yes, Mommy? Do you like your new mother, Snow White? <laughs> The years passed, the seasons wore and discarded their colors, and soon, Snow White found herself changing as well. One spring day, Snow White celebrated her 12th birthday. Is it true, Father? Hmm? Snow White, you know better than to enter my chambers without knocking. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Forgive me, I should have been watching her. Snow White, no! Is it true that you're going away to war, Father? Yes, it's true, my daughter. I'm sorry to miss your party, but I have my duties. It isn't the silly party. If anything should happen to you, Father, I don't know what I'd do. I couldn't go on. Do not fear, Snow White. I will return to you. But I'm scared. There is nothing I can do about it. I took a solemn oath to protect my kingdom, and that is what I must do. Snow White? Yes, stepmother? It is during times like these when we must be strong. After all, the kingdom will be in our hands now. I'm so frightened. Hmm. And so the drums of war began to sound, and soon the king and his army were readying for battle. My queen, you will be in charge of the kingdom while I am gone. Sire, we await your return. Don't get hurt, father. Please be careful. Mm -hmm. Stay in formation, men. Ready for battle. each other in father's absence, stepmother. Don't touch me. <gasps> hmm. I am in charge of this kingdom now, and anyone who dares disobey me will be banished forever. Is that understood? I have brought the dresses you ordered. Ah. They are some of my most beautiful creations. I will decide whether or not they are beautiful after I have tried them on. Your Highness, please try them, then see if they're to your liking. I think this style would be most flattering. Hmm. The material does leave a bit to be desired, but I shall try it on nonetheless. As you wish, my queen. Can you believe it, Father? We're in the palace, the king's palace. Who would ever thought we'd be standing in such a beautiful place as this? Oh. Father, look, down in the garden, who is she? She's so beautiful, just like an angel. The lovely Princess Snow White. Ah, She certainly was the jewel of her mother's eye. <laughs> <laughs> 
She's prettier than any jewel I've ever seen. In fact, she's the most beautiful thing in the world. What, may I ask, are you looking oh, at? Uh, um, I, uh, well, we, uh... <sighs> Get out of here and never come back! But my dress! Evening fell, and with it, a cold, unearthly gloom that enveloped the castle like a hellish mist. I've been awaiting your arrival. I trust you've told no one about this. Discretion is of greatest importance. <laughs> you are imposing, aren't you? <laughs> I have heard that you show no mercy in your pursuits. If this is true, then you are the right man for the job. <laughs> I'm sure you're curious as to what I expect from you. It involves my darling little princess. Hmm? <laughs> you won't be laughing for very much longer. Hmm? I want you to kill the little princess. I want you to kill her quickly and with your customary lack of mercy. You will prove to me that the job is done by cutting out her innocent heart, placing it in that leather sack, and bringing it back to me. If you fail, I will cut off your imposing head. <laughs> if I fail, she will behead me. If I succeed, I will be hung by the townspeople. Either way, I am dead. The dark night passed, and the morning arrived with brilliant sunshine and the twittering of birds. It was a glorious day, but how was Snow White to know that the golden sun would soon fade to darkness? Samson will accompany you on the hunt. He's an experienced woodsman and will keep you safe. Stay by his side and don't run off where he can't find you. Don't worry, stepmother. I'll be good. <laughs> No, no, the animals must stay behind, I'm afraid. They will scare the deer away. You can see Snow White when she returns. Now go on and romp in the garden like good little darlings. Go on. <laughs> Please, try to calm them down, won't you, my dear? Stepmother is right, little ones. The hunt is no place for babies like you. Who knows what could happen? You stay here and be good while I'm gone. Be careful, my dear. <laughs> You mangy, flea-bitten beast think you can frighten me? Get out of my sight, you mewling little monsters! 
From now on, you will starve on the streets! Uh, no. Please take them. Ah, uh, thank you. Ah, bee, a bee, I hate bees. Ah, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Samson. I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> <sighs> Yes, I will. You must be terribly warm. It's rather hot out today, isn't it? This will make you feel better. Thank you. Hmm. That was refreshing. What's the matter? It's nothing. Little one, did someone hurt you? Have you lost your way? Have you lost your mother? Is that it? Oh! There's your mama! Over here, mama! Maybe she cannot see us. She's probably afraid. Hmm? Maybe someone tried to attack them. But you don't have to worry anymore, my little friend. You're with us, and we'll take good care of you. Here. Have some nice cold water. Your mama will come and get you real soon. My sweet Lisa. The princess reminds me of her. If my little Lisa were alive today, she would be Snow White's age. My beautiful little girl, gone forever. <laughs> huh? I want you to kill the little princess. I want you to kill her quickly and with your customary lack of mercy. You will prove to me that the job is done by cutting out her innocent heart, placing it in that leather sack, and bringing it back to me. Mm. 
now. Huh? Strange. Something is frightening them. There, you see? I told you she would come. Princess! <gasps> no! What are you doing? <laughs> Snow White, get away! Hurry! Uh, oh dear! Listen to me, Snow White. Run away, do you hear? I was hired by your stepmother. She told me to kill you. She's an evil woman. You mustn't go back. My stepmother? Yes. She's a monster. She'll stop at nothing. You must run away. I will run to the castle and call for help. You mustn't, princess. Run away, I tell you. Go now. Save yourself, Snow White. You must disappear and never come back. Come on, Bear. I'm ready. I must get help! Never mind, Snow White! Run! Run! As you requested, Your Majesty. I must admit, you've done your job well, Samson. Thank you, Your Majesty. Just remember, you are to tell no one about this. The big dumb fool. Get out of here! I told you to stay away from my mirror. You'll get your filthy slime all over the glass! Mirror, mirror on the wall. Doth thy slumber hear my call? Tell me, Mirror, what do you see now of the Princess Snow White? I look far and wide, my queen. No longer do I see her fair countenance. Then that can only mean one thing. Snow White is dead! Mirror, mirror on the wall, who then is the fairest of them all? It is you who are the fairest, my queen. you want to. Would you like to be my friend and play with me? Oh. I have a feeling I'm very far from home. My goodness. 
goodness, just look at this terrible fog. It's so thick it's hard to tell which direction I'm walking in. What are those lights up ahead? Uh, where are you going? Please don't leave me! I'm frightened! Uh, don't run so fast, little friend! Where are you? I can't see! I'm sure I've heard that sound before, but I can't remember. Oh, oh. Where are you going? Wash the windows too. I must say the garden could use some tending to with all those weeds. <laughs> Maybe they'll forgive me if I leave him some of these. must have broken in while we were at the mine! A burglar! A thief! A thief in our own home! <sighs> I don't even like to think of Maybe it! Maybe it's the burglar! Uh, Did you hear that? I'll Something's upstairs! Ever broke into this Turn house. on the lights and be quiet, will you? <laughs> we should launch a surprise attack! I think I should go first! No, Goldie, I'll go! After all, I am the most athletic! Stop right there. Uh, hey, that's not fair! I don't see anybody. Huh? What's that? You're such a fraidy cat, it's just a goat. Sure, it may sound like a goat, but how do you know it's not someone pretending to be a goat? Never can tell, you know. Ah. This is dumb. 
There's nobody here. Plus, what self-respecting burglar would want to steal anything from us? Something moved! Something moved! Hey, come here, fella. <laughs> Nothing to be scared of. It's just a little squirrel. Oh, thank goodness. I nearly had a heart attack. <gasps> <gasps> Someone is hiding. There, under the blanket. Oh, sneaky, huh? <laughs> Now, on the count of three, lift the blankets. I need an energy boost. What kind of energy do you get from that stuff? It's chock full of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, and it gives me minty fresh bread. <laughs> That's what you think. Never mind that foolishness. One, One two, two, three. three. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty. It's crying. Maybe it's had a bad dream. What are we waiting for? Let's throw it out. Oh, put a sock in it, you big bully. Well, boss, what should we do? Let's all convene downstairs and discuss it over a bite, shall we? But someone's gone and eaten all our bread. I would guess it was our mystery guest. It's good to be charitable, but what shall we do for food? Oh, it was nice enough to leave us these fresh hazelnuts. That's something, isn't it? Have you found anything in that book of yours? It looks as if our sleepy friend upstairs is of the human persuasion. Human? Judging from this description, our human is most likely of the female gender. The female is said to possess a kinder, gentler aspect than the male of the species, and is possessed of a more maternal instinct, in that they are of the gender that can produce children. It also says that their skin is softer than the male, and that they are often more delicate and mild. I would say that description fits it perfectly. Mm, it does seem delicate, no? When do we throw it out? At least wait until it wakes up. Who says we gotta wait? These woods have belonged to our people for thousands of years, and we shouldn't be forced to share them. Don't you have any heart at all? The poor creature was crying. Why shouldn't we try and help it if we can? Because uh. I said so, you little pipsqueak, you. Who you calling pipsqueak? Uh. Little Pinky certainly seems to like her. That should stand for something. Well, perhaps. But what if Goldie's right? Hmm. We'll have a vote. Whoever thinks the human should stay, raise your hand now. Here. Oh, here. Here. Hmm. Well, that's a tie. But, boss, you haven't voted. What do you think? Should it stay or not? Hmm. Well, I'd prefer to sleep on that if you don't mind. You think it should stay, don't you? No fair. You're trying to influence him. No, I wasn't. It looks like they know I'm here. Huh? She's awake! It's beautiful! I hope you'll forgive me for entering your home. It's okay, human. We don't mind. I suppose I should introduce myself. My name is Snow White. I live in the castle on the other side of the woods. You'll excuse me for asking, but if you live in a castle, what are you doing sleeping in this cold little cottage of ours? It makes no sense. In fact... I've run away from my stepmother. You ran away? You don't say. Well, that settles it. Since you have no place to stay, you will remain here with us where it's warm and safe, and I trust the others would agree. Rather presumptuous, huh? wouldn't you say? I think it best to vote on this tomorrow after a good sleep. Of course, you're more than welcome to stay here for the night if you're so inclined, my dear. Thank you. I'm very grateful. <laughs> <gasps> Well, we're off to work, Snow White. Have a wonderful day, Jolly. Mm -hmm. You too, boss. Oh. And Chamomile. Oh. And Woody. Mm -hmm. And Gourmet. Uh. And Goldie. Oh. And Vet. Huh? But how did you remember all of our names? <laughs> you sneak. Leave it to Jolly. <laughs> Goodbye, boys.
Now, I must get to work and tidy this house. All these weeds. Why do you think you're going, Jolly? Well, I just. I... You still have work to do. I have to go back to the cottage. You see, I forgot something. And, forgot uh... nothing. You just want to see Snow White. No, really. I forgot my pickaxe. I can't work without my pickaxe. Which reminds me, I forgot my hanky. Oh, and I forgot my lunch pail. What's with all this foolishness? Are we here to work or chatter like magpies? Can I go? Hmm. Come to think of it, I think I left my lunch pail at home, too. Then let's go. Back soon. Hmm. I think we should join them. Oh, I tell you, I've never seen a bigger bunch of slackers in my life. Uh, what's happened to our Look, lettuce? Our cottage is on fire. <gasps> <gasps> Snow White, it'll be okay! <laughs> oh, so soon, my friends? <laughs> Young lady, might I ask what you are doing in my kitchen? Our bedroom is full of dust, one of our windows is smashed, our lovely lettuce plants have been ripped out, and it looks like a cyclone hit our kitchen. Really, now, you ought to be ashamed. I told you to get rid of it, but you wouldn't listen. Hmm. She might not be the best housekeeper, but don't be so hard on her. She was only trying to help. We all make mistakes. It's all right, Jolly. Perhaps I never should have come here. But, Snow White... I will leave today if you'd like. Perhaps it would be best if you return to the castle. That's impossible. I'll have to find another home. <gasps> Be ashamed of yourselves! <gasps> Snow White left her hazelnuts. I'll keep them here to remember her by. You know, she wasn't that bad after all. In fact, I kind of huh? liked her. Maybe she should stay. She's nowhere else to go. Do we agree? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I knew it! I knew you'd change your mind! <gasps> Snow White! Come back! I've never seen Jolly so happy. What say we help him look for Snow White? Yeah! yeah! White was no longer alone. On that lovely day, Jolly, Gourmet, Boss, Goldie, Chamomile, Woody, and Vet welcomed the princess into their humble home and, within a short and magical time, became her new family. Dawn came, and with it, the first golden rays of sunshine which danced and shimmered through all the leaves in the wood and buttered the landscape with warmth and light. The birds and animals of the kingdom opened their eyes and began to sing and frolic, welcoming the day as they always did. Inside the cottage, the seven dwarves were eating their breakfasts so that they could go off to the mines with full bellies. This bread is so good, it's mouth-watering. Why, thanks, Jolly. Oh, yeah, this oh. is nothing like this fresh bread. I must say, Gourmet has really outdone himself this time. <laughs> has anyone seen our Snow White? Probably upstairs. She sure is a sleepy hat. Sleepy and dreaming. <laughs> no <doubt>. Sleepy. <laughs> Sleepy. I 
I've never slept so long. I really must have been quite tired. Goodbye, Snow uh, White. We're off to the mine, my dear. Uh, hold on. I'm coming. Hmm. There. <laughs> Sorry about that. Did you sleep well? Oh, yeah. Perhaps I shouldn't sleep so late when you have to work in the morning. Hmm. But you're a princess, Snow White. You can sleep as long as you desire. Don't just sit there, vet. Go and get us some fresh goat's milk. But, boss, there's none left. Well, go and milk what? them. And get me a glass, too. But our little goats are too young to milk more than once a day. Don't worry. I'll get some fresh cold water at the well. Be safe now. You're too oh. slow! Oh. <laughs> oh, you want to go too? <gasps> How long will it be until someone comes looking for me? Listen, you hear that? Uh, let's hide over there, quickly! Quick, move it, move it! It's a Listen up! Whoever that human is, he's undoubtedly been sent by Snow White's stepmother. We must do what we can to protect her. Now everyone break and go to your posts! Go! Oh, I... I just saw him! Okay. That's the signal. Turn around! You are not welcome here! Go back from where you came! <laughs> Do not incite my wrath! <laughs> mm. Yum. Gourmet, did you hear those noises outside just now? No. I'll go see. You stay here. No! Snow White, don't go! Who knows when it could be at this time of night? Snow White, come back! The woods are dangerous at night! Dangerous, do you hear? Dangerous! Huh? Be quiet. It was a big human. We scared it bad, though. It won't be back anytime soon. Huh? <gasps> The princess! <laughs> it's like a dream. How I've missed you. I've missed you so very much. And so Snow White's friend Samson had found her and brought with him her beloved animals, whom she had not seen since leaving the castle. As her animal friends ate hungrily, Snow White relayed the story of the hunt. I owe my life to this gallant man. 
we were on a hunt, and a grizzly bear found our encampment and tried to attack us. While I ran, Samson fought the bear with all of his might and finally managed to kill it. Then he told me about my stepmother and how she had hired him to murder me. He betrayed the orders of the queen so that I could live, but warned me never to go back to the palace. It is thanks to him I am alive today. Please forgive us for trying to scare you. We didn't know you were a friend. It was Gourmet's What fault. are you talking about? <laughs> the next morning, after a night of laughter and fellowship, the seven dwarves headed off to the mine. For, regardless of the previous night's adventures, the little men had much work to attend to. Have a good day! Work hard now! <laughs> well now, wouldn't you like to help me with the washing? You mustn't be lazy! Magic mirror, magic mirror, can you hear me? Tell me, who is the fairest in all the kingdom? My queen, Snow White is still the fairest in all the land. What's that you say? No, it can't be. Snow White is dead. I myself saw her heart. Snow White is not dead. She lives still somewhere in the kingdom, in a place unknown to you. In a place beyond the fog. Beyond the fog? Mirror, speak truthfully, your queen demands it! Snow White still lives, my queen. <gasps> Accursed shall she be. Skin of a slain lizard. Blossom of night flower that blooms by the light of the pale moon. Mushrooms plucked from a hangman's grave. <laughs> this deadly brew will dark wonders perform. But how shall we make the little princess drink it? She has proven more clever than I first thought. I know the way. I invoke you, Father of Shadows. I invoke you, Sisters of Death. All spirits of evil, all spirits of doom, I invoke you. Hear my cry that my dark deed may reach its fruition. Hear my plea that my charm be bound in blood. Hear my call that my curse be unbroken. I invoke you. I invoke you! the spell with a breath of doom. So the pretty princess is alive, huh? Languishing somewhere beyond the fog. 
Well, the moment she wraps this poisoned ribbon around her slender little waist, her fate will be sealed forever. <laughs> what are you doing gawking there like a drooling gargoyle? Bring her the ribbon. Go! <laughs> that morning, Snow White was left alone when Vet was called to the mine to look after a sickly jolly. While Vet was running to catch up with the others, the evil stepmother's minion saw his chance to do his mistress's bidding and quickly headed for the nearly deserted cottage. Soon thereafter, Snow White heard a strange and ominous knocking at the door. Uh, coming! Who is it? Nobody's there! Hello? My, what a beautiful ribbon! So delicate! And it matches the green of my skirt. <laughs> I'll bet the dwarfs made it for me. Goodness, they spoil me more and more every day. Well... Uh, it fits perfectly, my friends. How sweet! Boss, jolly! It's just a case of the sniffles. Never I'll be alright. Excuses, that honest. Jolly. It was just one sneeze. That's how right. it starts. Maybe two. Uh, huh? uh, Snow White. Uh, what happened, Snow White? Uh, Can't you hear me? Answer me. Princess, say something. Anything. Uh, Snow White. <laughs> At last, I am rid of that rotten princess. Now I will be the fairest in the kingdom, the fairest in the world. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? My queen. Tell me. If Snow White is dead, then you are the fairest in the land, your majesty. Snow White is good and dead. I have seen to that, I can assure you. <laughs> yes, Snow White was dead. The evil queen had gotten her wish to be possessed of beauty unsurpassed. What could the dwarves do for their princess now? It seemed all they could do was cry. <laughs> Snow White! Jolly? What? I must return to the mine. Huh? Yes, I must return at once. Why? Why now? It is a difficult time, but I cannot abandon my work. Who cares about work? I must do what I must do, and that is all. How can you think of the mine at a time like this? As sad as we are, we cannot mourn the princess's death forever. Life goes on, and we must either live it or give in to death ourselves. Mm. Fine, I'm staying here. <laughs> What's the matter? Nobody's eating the squash soup I prepared. Squash soup is your favorite, Jolly. I find it strange that you should say such a thing when you haven't touched your dinner either. <gasps> You're right. Why eat? There's no reason to. It was true. The dwarves seemed to have neither the appetite for food nor life itself since their beloved princess had died. But Boss felt the need to return to work, even though underneath his gruff exterior, his heart was broken as well. While the other dwarves remained behind in the cottage, Boss wandered the wood. Soon, his wanderings took him quite far from the mine, Presently, he found himself in a different part of the forest, in a clearing with lush green trees and a white, sparkling waterfall. What was this place? Had Boss been here before? 
He wandered a bit more as if in a daze or a dream. Boss had his mind on work, but what kind of work was he thinking of? A different kind, perhaps? Did Boss know something the others didn't? Boss continued his wanderings until he came upon a shady grove, and within that grove there was a tree, and a mysterious one at that. Boss headed for a mouth at the base of the tree, and as he came closer, a bright light began to pulsate inside. He entered, swallowed up by the strange golden light. It's not right! There must be some way to bring Snow White back! Where are you going, Woody? I'm going to look at the Book of Wisdom again. I might have missed something. I'll let you know if I find anything. That's it! <laughs> it's terrible! What's got you so excited, Woody? It's Boss! It's Boss! Sure, he's gone to work in the mine. He's not at the mine. He's inside the Wood of Life. <gasps> Boss, Boss is, is inside, inside the, the wood, wood of Life? Boss was indeed inside the Wood of Life. The Wood of Life was a very sacred place for the dwarves. It was a place in which one life was sacrificed for the love of another. A noble gesture indeed. But for the other dwarves who loved Boss as they would a beloved brother, the thought of such a sacrifice was too much to bear. But Boss would not be deterred, for he had to bring Snow White back or else. What should we do? We have to think of something. There's no time. We've got to do something. Hmm. Hey, wait. Where are you going, Cam? I'm going to the Wood of Life. I'm going too. <clears throat> In order to enter the Wood of Life, one needs to say the magic word. You're right. Of course, the proper procedure is described right here in the Book of Wisdom. Huh? Wait for me, you two. I've got the magic word. I've got the magic word! Meanwhile, within the Wood of Life, Boss has begun to recognize the trees that represent his good friends. Ah, Goldie and Chamomile's trees. I will miss you, Chamomile. May your life be happy and prosperous. Goldie, you surely have a heart of gold. Dear Gourmet, I will always remember the fresh bread you made for us. Woody, you are always a good friend. I won't forget you. Ah, Jolly and Vets trees. I still remember planting them. Sometimes you're too fresh for your own good, Jolly. But you made me laugh. That's Boss's pickaxe there. At least we're in the right direction. Come on, we don't have very much time. Oh, 
no. The book, it's ruined. <laughs> Goodbye, all. We're too late. Boss, talk to me. How could Boss do something like this? I can't believe it. First Snow White and now Boss. What are we gonna do? Look, there's the wood from Boss's tree. We could use it to build something, couldn't we? Are you mad? How can you suggest such a thing? I thought then we'd have something to remember him by. Hmm. Snow White, we should have been there to protect you. I'll never ever forgive myself, not in a million years! Uh, since Snow White died, even my geese are sad. They don't run in the garden and they don't eat anything. I know. I've never felt so sad in my life. Huh? 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 <laughs> Is Snow White any better? No. What a silly question. No? But. Uh... Hey, did you find Boss? Tell me! Jolly, he sacrificed himself for Snow White. <gasps> we used the wood from his sacred tree to make a nice new cover for the Book of Wisdom. Now he'll always be with us, and he'll always give us plenty of wisdom and guidance as long as we remember him. Jolly! <laughs> Time passed, but Boss's sacrifice had no effect on Snow White's condition. <laughs> wow. I sure am gonna miss him. Why, Boss? All because of that dumb book! <laughs> Jolly, come back! It's all because of this book of wisdom! We should destroy it! That book is a way for us to remember Boss, Jolly! Is that so? Just watch me! <laughs> that book is a way if to remember Boss, Jolly! If it wasn't for this silly book, oh, Boss no, wouldn't no, have no, sacrificed no, himself, no, and he'd still be here with us, and we'd be... No, no, huh? No. Huh? No. <laughs> He's alive! He's alive! He's alive! He's alive! What in the world is this? I am the spirit of the dwarf named Boss. Huh? I bravely sacrificed my soul for the life of another, and in doing so, I have been granted eternal life in the Book of Wisdom. And, by extension, the body I was possessed of on Earth. It is through this sacrifice and the many sacrifices I made for my friends during my lifetime that the body called Boss lives on. 
These actions will also revive the life of the dear princess who was taken from you far too soon. It's an absolute miracle. You can say that again. It's a miracle. Of course I'm alive. What a strange thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> the dwarves would never forget that day, for it was the happiest of their lives. Their great friend Boss had returned from the grave, and with him, the princess they loved. I feel my moment is at hand. I have almost accomplished my plan. I can almost taste the fruits of my dark dreams. I will have the young supple body of Snow White, whatever the cost may be. Whip this potion red as blood, hot as fire and thick as mud. And now a cyclone I will stir. Turn around, turn around, the blackness blur. The tempest tossed, the hellcat purr. Snow White will be me and I will be her. turn to stone, including Snow White's tiny protectors. And that is when I will make my move and claim what is rightfully mine to own. Fool! Go and get the magic cane immediately! Under the curse of the evil stepmother, the entire dwarf kingdom was turned to stone. No one was spared. <laughs> <laughs> you will never escape your destiny, Princess Snow White. No matter where you hide, my wrath will find you. <laughs> Thought to seed and seed to root. Poison blossom, poison fruit. Tree of Hades, suck thy breath. Flower of evil, fruit of death. Grow! Grow! <laughs> <laughs> Sweets to the sweet. <laughs>
little sweetheart? <laughs> Don't you worry now. <gasps> Snow White will go and get you a bale of hay to eat, all right? Yes, who is it? Just a poor old lady selling apples. Selling apples? Please let me in. I'm so cold. <gasps> All right. Ah, uh, oh, what a lovely young lady you are. And with such fair skin, perhaps one of my lovely red apples will put a bloom upon your cheek. Try one. Hmm. <gasps> that cane! It looks so familiar to me. I know I've seen that cane somewhere before, but where? Where? Wouldn't you like an apple, dear? Oh, oh yes. I've never seen redder apples in my life. Well, if you think they look delicious, just wait until you taste them, dear girl. But perhaps you should come back. I'm all alone, I'm afraid, and I haven't any money to pay you with. Don't worry, my dear. You've been more than kind to an ugly old beggar woman like me. You may consider one a gift. My apples are magic, you know. <gasps> now I wonder which one I should give you. Hmm, let me see. Ah, the apple of happiness. The apple of happiness? That's right. My magic apples have mystical healing properties, my dear. One bite and you will find yourself filled with joy and happiness. It certainly sounds tempting. <laughs> I can't. <gasps> I couldn't possibly take advantage of such generosity and kindness. Perhaps you can come back another day when I have some gold for you. Nonsense, my girl. I want to give it to you. If you insist on paying, I'll come back tomorrow and you can give me some gold. Now taste it. It's delicious, my pet. Well, I don't like to be rude after all. <laughs> I know. Why don't you come in and rest and have some tea? You must be very tired after walking so many miles today. It's the least I can do to repay your kindness and I'll feel so much better. My, what a wonderful idea. Please. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> Here you are. Sit beside me now and eat your apple, my pet. So red and shiny and delicious. Yes, it certainly is lovely. <laughs> the wind is beginning to howl outside. I'll build a warm fire for us. <sighs> Isn't it? Uh, what? The forest and the entire valley, all of it turned to stone. Oh, it certainly is a strange phenomena, isn't it? I have lived in these parts for many a year, and I've never seen the like of it before. It's because of witchcraft. Eh? What's that you say? Witchcraft. What other explanation could there be? 
An entire valley transformed into stone in an instant. Even my dearest friends have been bewitched. And what if they stay this way forever? Please tell me, if I ate one of your apples, would everything return to normal again? Ugh. Oh, I'm sure of it, my dear. As I have said, my apples have mysterious healing powers and have been known to work miracles. <sighs> they do? You, you have my word. You know, witchcraft hasn't frightened me at all. Because I know that the power of love will emerge victorious. Hmm? I have only one fear, that the forest and the valley will both remain locked in stone forever and ever and my wonderful friends as well. I'm scared that I'll never hear their voices again, or dance with them, or laugh. Do not cry, <laughs> my dear girl. Bite into the apple. You will see. All of your troubles will soon disappear. Yes. Although a part of her was suspicious of the old woman, Snow White was taken in by the kindly beggar's seeming wisdom. She gave her the benefit of the doubt. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to... Don't worry, just an old woman's clumsiness. She couldn't possibly know. This is a perfect disguise, perfect! Come now, my girl, it's time for you to eat your apple. Look how it shines in the light, so lovely. You're sure if I eat it, I'll be happy again? And all of my friends will come back and they'll be happy too in the rest of the valley as well? I promise you. And so, unbeknownst to her, Snow White made the fatal decision. All right then, I'll eat it. Stepmother. At the moment she took a bite of the poisonous apple, Snow White took hold of the magic cane, and in doing so, the spell that had been cast upon the valley was broken. All witchcraft was cast out. The coldness of stone was transformed to the warmth of sunlight and green grass. Everything was returned to how it was. Once again, everything and everyone was free. You're an interesting girl. Under all those pitiful rags, you knew it was I, your loving stepmother. And you knew that the apple was poisoned, and still you bit it with a smile and even thanked me for it. You thanked me for your own death sentence, you pitiful girl. You saved the kingdom, yet you could not save yourself. What does this matter to me? I have what I always wanted. Now I possess you, all of you. I possess your fair and lovely face, and now your youthful body will be mine as well. <laughs> My Snow White? No! It can't be my Snow White! Thanks to the sacrifice of Snow White, slowly and surely life was returning to the valley. Green meadows blossomed where once grew fields of stone, and animals frolicked where frozen figures had once collected dust and snow. Snow White! 
Snow White? Snow White? Where are you, Snow White? Are you hiding? Charlie? Huh? What's the matter? Why are you holding that apple? We think it's full of poison. <gasps> I'm afraid Snow White may have taken a bite of this apple. <gasps> it's not true. You're just joking with me, aren't you? <laughs> but Snow White's fine. She's just fine. <laughs> Look, the cupboard's all clean and even the dishes are in perfect order, aren't they? How could they be in perfect order if Snow White wasn't here, huh? Hey, Snow White, where are you? We want to thank you for saving our lives. Uh, come on out so we can say hello. She's probably fast asleep upstairs, I'll bet, the sleepy head. Snow White! Snow White! Are you hiding? You're going to surprise us, aren't you? You're going to jump out when we least expect it, huh? That's it, right? Stop this foolishness! Funny, I used to be able to find her right away. I guess she must have found some new hiding place I don't know about yet. Oh. Jolly? Maybe uh. she's out in the woods, huh? I'll bet that's it. Of course, uh. yeah. You uh. must be strong, Jolly. Uh. Snow White! <laughs> it's so sad. <laughs> huh? Come out here. It's incredible! It's the Blue Falcon! With the arrival of the young, handsome Prince Richard, the friends had renewed hope that their princess would be found. Meanwhile, at the stepmother's castle... <laughs> Soon I will say farewell forever to all this ugly, wrinkled flesh. It's impossible. Snow White cannot be dead. <laughs> it's not true. It's not true. You are correct. Snow White is not dead. You can still save her, Prince. Who speaks to me? <gasps> Vilarka! Who is Vilarka? Be patient, my little princess. Just a few more moments and we will be all but ready for my most fascinating experiment. My, but you are beautiful. <laughs> Come here, you fool! While I'm gone, I expect you to stay here in this chamber and keep an eye on the sleeping princess. Do you understand? But first, you must do your job. The blood from you flows in, the blood from me flows out. The blood from you flows in, the blood from me flows out. The blood from you flows in, the blood from me flows out. The blood from you flows in, the blood from me flows out. The blood from you flows in, the blood from me flows out. The blood from you flows in, the blood from me flows out. Meanwhile, Prince Richard and his friends have gathered in the cave of the Sacred Sword. Boss must repeat the chant that is written on his amulet to extract the Sacred Sword from the stone. Hurry, tell me what I have to do! Hear my young and most noble knight! To you, Richard of Albertville, Blue Falcon, I order you in the name of justice to take the sword from the stone! I will do all that you say. Support me, you sacred powers of life, wind, earth, water, and fire. Do not abandon me now. 
Give me the strength to draw this sword from the stone! He is the Blue Falcon after all! It's true, I can't believe it! We must move quickly if we're to save Snow White from certain death. There's no time to lose. All will be lost. We must tarry no longer for the hour is at hand. Yes, I am ready. To the castle! Something strange happening here. These are the Queen's bodyguards. I'll take care of them. Just hurry and find Snow White and her stepmother. Go! <laughs> There's no one here either. My Snow White! No! Snow White! Snow White! Snow White! No! Snow White! Snow White! It's her stepmother! She's dead! Perhaps we're all too late. As morning is rising, the same mornings the princess once loved so much, Snow White's friends are gathered around her funeral bier. <laughs> My friends, we have done all that we could. We have brought Snow White home. If only we knew the good prince was still alive. I hate to say it, but I'm beginning to lose hope. Huh? What is it? What do you see? My Snow White. Snow White? Huh? <gasps> Welcome back to life, my love. My hero. Love always wins at the end of the story.